What's up, Dunation? This time, I know I got the game audio corrected. It fucking up. No retard hat as well. Check out this new sweet screen we got. Where you get to glitch in and out as Jesse, you know, I guess the player character, and Omori. Who's a fucking piano, I guess. <clears throat> Alright, okay. So, quick recap. We became friends. Now we need to go see Basil, who should be home now. My sister hung herself on a tree. Which is not quite Pog. You know what I'm saying, guys? Like, that is not Pog. Wait a minute. There's an old hag in the middle of the road. <laughs> Lady. Oh. Okay. Does that mean that his grandma fucking died in the hospital? Like, this shit's about to get fucking strange, if so. Does he live down here? His grandma probably died. Oh, I should save. There's a convenient picnic basket here. Hmm, quite convenient. What if Basil's hanging himself? Damn, bro, they're gonna make me sleep in Basil's house at fucking night? This kid's gonna murder me. We're just checking to see if that fucking ghost is following me. Sure, let's hang out with my friends, dude. Is Hero talking? Now Aubrey saying something? Oh, this is like an actual cutscene, not like one of those ghetto ass ones that I did before.
They're bonding, bros. Bro, that is some ominous shit. You know she's a ghost. <clears throat> Dang, dude, Aubrey's trying to still kiss me on the mouth. He's freaking in love. There's going to be a fucking scary ass ghost near me. Shit. They're not going to show me a cutaway to me where fucking Basil's standing with his fucking bear ass hanging out. Kitty, do you gotta do this shit right now? I'm trying to fucking get to the bottom of this Omori shit. Well, I actually woke up in the other place, not Omori. Now, <clears throat> whoa, and it's me. Well, I guess it's not me, it's Omori. And I guess Omori's not me. Omori is a fucking piano, I've learned. Okay, and that's my sister. For some reason, she's a malevolent spirit. do what we always do in this situation we'll just run the calm down strat to pseudo infinite
Maybe when I'm full HP, if that doesn't do anything, I should punch it. Fuck it. Let's go for the fucking slobber knocker. Ugh. Oh. I should have known, dude. Should have known. What, what what is even in front of me here? It's like all blurry and shit. Or did I need to focus right there? So I can see what the hell's going on. Like what the hell's going on? I'm swaying in the wind. Okay. I feel like my life is in danger. Now here's what I don't get. Why would my sister want to kill me? I feel like that's a pretty big plot point I'm not understanding here. Like, what does Basil know? Why do I... Why am I being haunted by my sister's malevolent spirit? I thought we were tight. to overcome we got the regular light bulb We just leave. <laughs> Alright, now we can't forget about that key. Okay, that was a tree. Of course, no fucking, uh, you know, declaration on the side there. Oh, this must be the tree where she hung herself. Like, why else would it show me a specific tree? You're finally here. This is fucking like uh, Majora's Mask. But maybe it's too late. The truth of that day will be hard to accept. When you see it, you have to stay strong. And if you can, please forgive me. Oh 
bro. What did Basil do, man? I find it hard to believe this guy's a fucking stone cold killer, but fuck. Maybe he is a fucking psycho. Um, okay. Do these need to be in a particular order? Oh. Oh, fuck. Alright, I'll fix it, uh, you know, what the... My only daughter is gone and you? You were my only son, I can't lose you as well. I'm not really understanding what that photo means. I gotta say... It's hard as fuck to see. What the hell is this? That's strange. Why is Mari the only one? Oh, my mom's gone. Even stranger? Okay. You see four kids climbing a ladder. Having a picnic. Now later. Okay, so this is my, like, story. Right now I'm hoping you can't put a picture in the wrong place. And I'm actually, I guess I'm double hoping that a picture in the wrong place doesn't fuck anything up. Well, these photos are not making any fucking sense, huh, kitty? Well, I gotta say, those motherfuckers disappearing sure was strange. Oh, wait. There's a photo. Now here's what I don't get. How is did Basil cast some kind of dark magic? Like how can he communicate with me through this psychic realm? Or did I always know the truth? I always knew the truth and I just like repressed it because I'm like triggered basically. Oh, hey, this one has blood coming out of it. Yeah, nothing strange about the world's longest set of stairs that lead into a fucking puddle of hair. Oh, dude. Great, dude. The fucking capture card is fucked up the whole time. I'm sorry about that, guys. What is this? A picture of her? She's climbing up the stairs at me? Oh, 
I'm gonna walk down the stairs towards her. Okay, and that's a picture of me like right fucking now. Let's picture somebody at the bottom. I'm so fucking confused. So what, he pushed her down the stairs and she died and then he fucking hung her to make it seem like it was chill? Fucking lost bro, I'm scared too. Today's the day of the recital. And what's wrong with my fucking head? I'm like losing color. Or I'm gaining color, maybe, is the problem. <laughs> okay. I'm losing fingers. Is somebody helping me carry her? Well, that sure was eventful. Damn, bro, did I kill my sister? And that's why she's, like, fucking trying to murder me? I, sw I slammed my violin into her head. Damn, bro, this is not the good ending. I've got to say. Yeah, I guess I pushed her. I killed my sister. For real. Dude, I am one dastardly fucking fiend. Dude, is there a black outline for this one anywhere? Like, maybe it's... Oh, you know, it's so much easier to see on the OBS capture. You guys probably thought I was fucking delusional, but on TV it's so dark. But I don't think... I don't see it, though. Even on the OBS capture. Well, I sure hope it doesn't matter. If it does matter, I'm going to be triggered. Oh, I guess it does. I guess... I'm unable to just put them down willy-nilly. Well, I gotta say, the reason for her haunting me is making a lot more sense.
Damn, dude, I can't believe this is how Mori's gonna end. Like, I feel sad. Like, it's just sad, man, you know? Like, like I can't believe it that I was the one on one one. And, like, no wonder I never came out of my fucking room, dude. I fucking murdered somebody. Jesus Christ. And I just hunger. And Basil was there. He fucking helped me. My question is, where do the photos come from? Well, I guess they don't need to come from anywhere. I mean, they're like my memories, right? I actually did push my sister down the fucking stairs. And then... So maybe I didn't kill her. I did kill her, but like, you know, it was like murder. It was like, what do I call that? Manslaughter. So then why is Basil always asking me to forgive him? If it's all my bad in the first place. Oh, and Basil was there. And I'm all crying and shit. Dude, yeah. Oh, fuck. I should have saved, man. Is there a no option? I'm so curious now. Fuck. This motherfucker just moonwalked.
Now I'm triple confused. So is it a malevolent spirit that killed my sister? Or did I do it? I'm just we're both just absolutely psycho. <laughs> First, he tried to calm down. Yeah. I say we go for the... He tried to focus, man. Damn, dude. I'm not really sure what's going on here. Why would he think I hated him? He helped me cover up my sister's murder. So do we run? Wait, I just realized I disposed something at the fucking little uh, heart rate meter down there. Stressed out. Dude, am I like murdering him for real? Like, we having some kind of fucking psychic battle? I'm fucking scared, boys. Like, am I gonna kill this guy? I'm fucking confused. So, did he stab me in my fucking eye? I died for real. Thank you. 
My house? No, oh, this is my fucking house. And there's Basil. Who the fuck is dead in this situation? Me or Basil? <clears throat> Let's make some new memories together. Well, I'm not feeling so good. Don't forget, it's in the toy box, right? Well, something's definitely fucked up because I'm not. All, all my shit's moved back in, which isn't fucking normal. And Mari's bed is there. Where is the toy box? Oh yeah, I'm fucking dead. Okay, where is this toy box? Is it in this fucking room? Yeah, let's unlock the toy box. Bro, where am I in a fucking physical sense? Am I dead? Am I alive? Okay, so I have my old broken violin. I have the sheet music.
Okay, so we go down here now. Yeah, I gotta be fucking dead. Is it me or is this road tilted to the left a little bit? Oh yeah. Tough luck as usual. Well, I guess there's nothing to do but leave. That was you? Yeah, I better create another save. And just in case we can play that Basil fight a little different. I'm not sure if there's anything I'm supposed to find in these memories. How crazy it must feel to have these kind of like super dreams. Thank you. 
Who the hell's Hector? I'm trapped. Oh, that's what's in the photo is Hector's poop over there? Okay. I guess that photo didn't have any secrets at all. Damn, bro. Your parents want you to become a doctor? I do not know that feeling. Oh. Well, I found a way to escape. Based. Stepped in Hector, Hector's poop. I wonder who that memorial on the island there is, too. Dude, I'm like obviously having some kind of fucking like coming to Jesus moment here. Like I'm dead, so I'm getting my fucking Ebenezer Scrooge on. You know what I mean? Like the fucking ghost of present, past, and futures attacking me. I'm reminiscing, dude. Like when do we get to reminisce the part where I fucking absolutely murder? Her? Then she chose pink, huh? And that's why she ended up dyeing her hair, dude. Well, wow, that's some fucking lore. That's kind of... That's kind of lore I'm looking for. Dad strict. That's probably why she dyed her hair pink in the first place. She fucking sure her dad left her or some shit. Which is pretty typical. it won't come true <laughs> I 
camera. Good times, dude. They're having a nice birthday party. Look, now that's Pog in my book. Rip. Well, that everyone being happy shit definitely didn't last too long. Thank me by doing a little better in school. bought me a violin and then all I'd use it for was to smash my sister over her head. to life I would never worry about disappointing my friends in fact I would be surprised if I wasn't disappointing them oh so we're just uh, we're at the end of our rope here no pun intended Bro, this is fucking depressing. Like, I don't know if I'm fucking dead. I don't know if me and fucking Basil had some kind of crazy ghost spirit fight. And I killed my sister.
Sure, let's put down my sheet music. Yeah, I'll play the violin. Okay, what's going on here? We're in the darkness. Oh, I see. It's a gigantic auditorium, and I'm here to play. Bubbles. I'm trying to have a fucking moment here with my video game. That's it, bro? And what, now I'm fucking dead? Or I'm just so sad. Am I about to end up in the white room? Is this how it all happens, bro? Is this like a cyclical nature of some kind of sick, torturous game? Oh. Well, what do you know? It's my fucking doppelganger, Omori, the piano. Okay. What is he copying me? Omori did not succumb. But how would she know? Why would she say, I hope you can find some peace or some happiness? Well, I guess, I don't know, dude. I don't really don't know what to make of this whole situation. You've caused so much suffering, yet you do nothing. And you've earned nothing in return. Holy fuck, that's deep. They'll abandon you like you did them, and that's what you deserve. Omori did not succumb. Well, it doesn't matter, dude. We just fight again, like... 
We're fucking alphas. You tell yourself that you don't want to burden others, but the truth is that you're selfish. You just don't want people to depend on you. True. I'm sure there's a lot of motherfuckers out there who can relate to that one shit. This guy's coming in hard. How long are you going to let people take care of you? You say you care, but you're a liar. You've never done anything for anyone else. Damn, bro. I'm less than useless. Kind of hashtag agree, because... I've basically been lying this whole time about the whole incident. Damn, people like you don't deserve to live. No, Mori did not succumb. The person they love isn't you at all. You let them believe in a lie to protect yourself based and true. Now that is fucking true, man. Damn, bro. Probably true, honestly. Probably will hate you as much as you hate yourself, but, like, what can you do in this kind of situation, you know? Like, you killed your sibling. All you do is make things worse. It would be better to just die. Holy smokes, deep. But, yeah, you, you kill your sibling, you know? And it's like... Everyone really liked your sibling. Huh. Well, I guess maybe we do just die. Okay, obviously that is not a canon ending. Okay, so you get four full heals here. Praying on RNG. Well, basically, I need to get ahead of him in the fucking, you know, the, the hacks, the hack away race here. Oh, they gave me 150 heart? Okay. Fuck, dude, why did I only attack him once? I mean, oh, I'm an idiot right now. Kitty, I'm glad that you're comfy, but I'm trying to fight my fucking demons, man. No, Mori did not succumb. Yeah, we're calming down first, buddy. Until you give me a chance here. You can't erase me forever. Oh my god. 
He's just gonna continually erase me? I'll give it another calm down sesh. There we fucking go, shit. And I'm still alive, bitch. Now what? Well, I say I'll go with this one. Alright, it's supposed to be two turns, right? Alright. I don't know, am I gonna survive the next race? Am I just setting myself up for failure here? Calm down again. Oh yeah, he fucked up. Oh no, I fucked up. Dude, why did that one... That one hit me so hard. Okay. Let me think here. Yes, of course we're going to retry. I think I'm on something here. Alright, skill. We're going for a quick encore. Easy. We hit him with the Allegro. We get up. We're up in resources right now, okay? His erase skill, just, you know, like, that hitting four times is just criminal, you know? Alright, he's gonna, he's gonna do a bitch move here. Yeah, easy, dude. We dodge that every time, dude, when Ralph was. Easy. Alright, now, I'm going for the calm down. Do I die? Eh. Just about near. Just, just about, just about there. I think we'll cherish her. Yeah, we'll hit an encore. But maybe I'm not using my juice enough here. Alright, I calm down, I get the heal, and I'm full HP. No matter what happens this turn, we go for the Allegro next turn. I might have to watch a fucking Amori Explained video after this. Alright, easy, dude. You tell yourself you don't want to burden others? Oh, yeah. Oh, my defense fell. Fuck, I don't know. Alright, let me try calming down one more time. Let's see if he can hit me something that doesn't do half my HP. 
All right, perfect. When do you think about others? How long are you going to let people take care of you? You've never done anything for anyone else. You're useless, less than useless. You're sick. True, factual, factual. Okay, using the Allegro the first time to get some fucking leeway here. Like, yeah, you gotta use a little bit of the juice. I suck it in, dude. We full HP it. I think, and then the next turn I got an Encore. Erases the enemy. I don't know. I say we do another calm down. Is he gonna erase me again, or is he gonna stab me? For some reason, this erase does less damage than the previous one, even though my defense is falling. I think if he just gives me a chance, we take it. He's doing like a half my HP basically every time. So as long as he hits me with something and I still have half my HP. Fuck it, 171? Fuck it, I said we run with it. Hell yeah. Alright, we hit another calm down, we get our HP back, and then we go for the Allegro. Which I'm sure is some silly little music thing. I'm sure you musicals, you know you musicals out in the chat, you guys know what you're talking about. Well, more you did not to come, kitty. What's going on in the background there? I think like a head is being exposed. Or like a face, you know what I'm saying? Hmm. Ah, fuck it, we'll just cherish. True, dude. I did let them believe a lie to protect myself. But doing half my HP is not gonna fly. Alright, there we go. I think we can go for the Allegro here. I was correct. Damn, all you do is make things worse. It'd be better to just die. I don't want to die, though. Sorry. I'm praying to God 212 HP is going to be enough to keep me alive. Like, I'm honestly cutting it so close here. Oh, wait. I didn't even get to use all my cherishes, so I guess in this part you just, you just don't get a cherish. Like, there's just no cherishing. Oh, and this guy is gonna fucking erase me. Like, this fucker is erasing me for sure. I need him to do like a fucking single attack. It's just not looking good, boys. So can't Allegro. Oh no, and I encored. Ah, oh, I'm fucking dead. Dude. Rest in peace, GG. Oh, oh I'm alive. Dude, okay, let's see if I can get some let's get some HP here, see if I can survive here. I just need to like keep calming down like I'm praying. Okay, good now yeah, we're catching back up. Got the encore. Come on, stab me again so I can go for a fucking heater. Damn it, dude. I don't know. God, I can't risk it. Fuck, I'm gonna have to just keep doing this until you get hit with a small move and then just attack normally. Fuck the Allegro. And all my stats are falling, so I'm going to be doing like fucking negative damage in a second here.
Bro, I am like fucking stuck. We're like stuck. Oh no, and I picked the wrong move. Please let me live, man. Or maybe, is there something about the fucking, uh, the, the erase? I don't understand. Is it just like a certain amount of HP? Because he never seems to do. There we go. He slashes wildly. Oh, there's no way I'll survive. There's no way I'll survive. Like, I need the fucking, like, little stab, man. Not, not one of these big moves you keep trying to whip out on me. I'm just going to erase me. My stats are going to fall. And then I'm going <laughs> to... And I'm going to pray. I'm just going to keep praying, dude. All right, cool. I think we can survive something now. All right, now I should be able to attack him again. I don't know. I did way more than that. Did 172. I'm gonna. We're just playing on the back foot now. Alright, there we go, fuck it, and there we go for another attack. Omori will not succumb. Oh, okay. Thank fuck, we get a cherish. She loved you and you killed her. That's pretty true. Hero loved her and you killed her. Again. Pretty true. The text box at the top's going by, by way too fast. Eh, fuck it. Do I go for an attack here? Like, is it worth risking? I'm not sure. I guess we'll just keep coming down, I guess it's just that moment, dude. He's putting me in the afraid status, like, I don't know what that fucking does for me. Basil loved her and you killed her. That's pretty fucking true, honestly. Yeah, I did love her and I killed her. I guess I just can't attack, because I like, didn't I just try attacking, but I got scared? Uh-oh. Am I out of healing? I guess so. Like, yeah, maybe I fucked up, man. Nope. Oh, all right. I guess that's it. That is so annoying. Damn, dude, this is gonna take me fucking forever. Okay, well, I've wiped a couple times now. Damn, bro, do I... Am I getting a bad ending now because I didn't kill Amori?
Oh, I'm back. Why am I taller than the fucking Omori? What? The motherfucker's bowing after giving me a fucking little fucking little play? Like, what am I supposed to extrapolate from all this? I'm gonna obviously have to watch some kind of fucking no more explain. Like, I killed my sister, I understand. I'm fucking like... Okay, but what did me and Basil do? We fucking... He stabbed me in the eye? And I'm crying. <sighs> My glasses didn't get any fucking cleaner. Alright, so I didn't die. I just had another old fucking Omori fever dream.
Oh no, I'm fucked. Imaginary children are here. Well, obviously, we're gonna follow Shadow Basil the fuck. Bro, that it? I don't really know what to say. I don't know what to say. And I don't think I'm feeling anything right now. Bay, special thanks to you. You know you love to see that, but... I don't know what I'm feeling here. I don't feel good, I guess. Like, I, it's like what is the... What's the fucking moral here? Like, at the end of it all, I'm actually just a killer. The whole search for Basil in the beginning, like, just seems so fucking roundabout, you know? Like, did I have to do all that shit? It's like, all that basically added up to nothing, because you never learn anything about Basil. Omori has some fears you get, or I guess I do, and or Jesse, you know, named him after me. Yeah, I don't know. My next result is stuff I missed. I only have 26% of the achievements. Ruin Christmas, huh? Okay, well, I guess that's Amori. Uh, the ending I got seemed kind of fucking sucky. I don't think anything base came of that. In fact, zero based. I'm not sure how to feel about this whole situation. Um, because, yeah, like, so I killed her. I covered it up for a long time. 
like years it looks like and then me and basil had some kind of fucking like shadow fight in the fucking bedroom so what's real and what isn't real you know like what did that actually happen i don't know i'm gonna have to go do some research myself now i think most importantly here is that you guys like the video okay you know if you did like the video I don't know what game I'm going to play next, but I will see you in the next one.